Welcome, everyone. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a pivotal moment in automotive history. We'll explore how a single, brilliant innovation in 1893 did not just improve the automobile, but fundamentally defined how every car steers, even today. Join us as we uncover the story of the Benz Victoria and its revolutionary double-pivot steering system. In the late 19th century, the automobile was a fascinating but deeply flawed concept. Early vehicles were often just motorized versions of horse-drawn carriages, and they shared a critical weakness, steering. The challenge was immense. How do you effectively control a self-propelled four-wheeled machine? The existing simple pivot systems were clumsy and inefficient, causing wheels to scrub and slide rather than turn smoothly. This single problem was a massive barrier, transforming a potentially revolutionary invention into a cumbersome, difficult-to-manage contraption. A true solution was needed to make the automobile a viable form of transportation. Enter Carl Benz, a name already synonymous with automotive pioneering thanks to his patent motor wagon. Benz was not satisfied with his early tricycle designs. He recognized their limitations and dedicated himself to cracking the code of multi-wheel steering. His relentless pursuit of perfection led to a groundbreaking invention. In 1893, he patented his solution, the double pivot steering system. This was not just a minor tweak. It was a complete reimagining of vehicle control. This patent represented a massive leap forward, promising to solve the very problem that held back the entire concept of the four-wheeled automobile. This patent represented a massive leap forward, promising to solve the very problem that held back the entire concept of the four-wheeled automobile. The platform for this revolutionary technology was the Benz Victoria. Unveiled in 1893, this was the car that brought double pivot steering to the world. Production began at the Benz and C factory in Mannheim, Germany. While we do not have exact production numbers from that era, the Victoria quickly established itself as a landmark model. It was more than just a new car. It was a powerful demonstration of the viability and practicality of a properly steerable four-wheeled vehicle. It was the machine that proved Carl Benz's theory and set the stage for the future of the automobile industry. Now, let's look under the hood, so to speak. At the core of the Benz Victoria was a robust, horizontally mounted single-cylinder engine. The initial models featured a 2.9-liter unit that produced around 3 horsepower. This